all right guys so here it is as promised um this is a plumber's go-to service bag i've been plumbing for about five years now so um i kind of over the years this bag changes for my needs i do a lot of service calls um primarily service i'll do a repipe here and there maybe help with new construction every now and then but for 99 percent of the time i'm doing service calls so this bag was set up to help me either complete every service call or at least diagnose any problem inside the house with anything that way i can go out to the truck and get the tools i really need so as you can see it's a veto pro pack i've been working out of this bag for about a month now i finally spent the money on it super good quality I, I don't see anything wrong with it i don't see it giving up anytime soon um it it was expensive it was 200 dollars, but for 200 dollars, I, I think i'll get 20 plus years out of the thing with heavy use so to me that's well worth it but i'll get started on the outside um i have an 11 and one by milwaukee this thing's pretty sweet. Um, I cannot go through a day of service calls without this thing. I use this thing every single day. You know, it's got, you pull that out, you can do fern codes and stuff with it. Two different size flat heads. And it's got specialty bits on the inside. Definitely a go-to tool of mine daily. If I don't have this thing, if I leave it at home, I mean, honestly, I have like three in the truck, but if I can't find any of them, I leave one at home, guarantee I'm going to go buy one because I cannot go throughout my day without this. Um, next, I got a couple of markers in case you got to mark some pro press fittings. Mark hot and cold for the helper so he knows which is which. You never know. Markers, definitely a good thing. And I got my Milwaukee tape measure also good for the helper so he can measure pipe cut it bring it back um, in this side pouch right here i got my multimeter for testing thermostats elements whatever sometimes you get to a call for garbage disposal or water heater something that has to do with electricity too and um it's an electrical issue so it's good to know if it's a plumbing issue an issue with the uh, appliance itself or an electrical issue that way you can refer to the customer and tell them who they really need to call a lot of times they'll call the plumber first if it's a water heater or garbage disposal but if you can determine that the appliance isn't getting power that's a plus i got set of milwaukee gloves in here in case it gets too deep can protect my hands i don't really like wearing gloves i like to be able to use my hands without any restrictions but i will use latex gloves if i'm snaking a drain or something like that that's the only thing if i'm dealing with doo-doo i'm using gloves and on this side i got a sniffer this is one i think i have a Klein in the truck as well but this is one in the bag just so you don't blow yourself through the roof touching a live wire if you need testing you're guessing as mikey pipes would say and i got my little milwaukee light right here this is great for under sinks this is all the light you'll ever need underneath the sink this usually stays in my pocket or i got it right in the center console in the truck sometimes when i'm done i'll clip it on there and then i got a garbage disposal allen key to unjam those blades you'd be surprised how many times people drop stuff down the garbage disposal the blades jam the reset button pops and they can't figure out why their disposal is not working and then you go dig a bottle cap out of it and get them going <sighs> on this side i just got some teflon tape some electrical tape all of which I have in the truck. It's just nice to 
have some right here in case you need it while you're inside you don't have to go out um oh here's my other klein sniffer so that's how much i care about not getting lit up like a christmas tree touching a live wire i uh, got some of these cobalt allen keys i also got a full set in the truck it, it, I like these ones because, you know, you have the Moen set screw on the handle. And that's really the only one you'll ever use. That's the only one I ever use anyway. But it always gets lost. It's not going to get lost on this. I got another little thing of pipe dope. Once again, it's nice to have it on you. So you don't have to run out to the truck and get it. So I got tape and pipe dope ready to roll if I need to seal a fitting. <laughs> So we'll move on to the inside. I really like this strap. This is, it's almost like carrying a little laptop bag or something. It makes the bag real nice to carry around. I almost lost you. So in this little pouch right here, I just got different size wire nuts. I have a big bag of assorted sizes in the truck, but I need to refill that soon. Inside, I've kind of simplified this a little bit. It was a lot fuller, but I got this little thing. It's magnetic on the bottom for any screws or anything. The last thing you want to do is take something apart, garbage disposal, water heater, and lose a screw. So you can put them in there and it'll hold on to it. You won't lose them. So that's a nice little thing to have. And I got my Milwaukee phillips head and flathead demo screwdrivers these have the shank all the way through so I, i've had these for a while i'll use these before i use a chisel they've worked out really well for me chipping out concrete for hose bibs or whatever these are really nice i've had these for probably going on three years and i've been beating the hell out of them and they just take it i just got this crescent wrench it's almost like a pipe wrench self-adjusting pipe wrench this is my second one i have another one in the truck but that's really cool if you don't want to pull out a big pipe wrench that'll usually get the job done then i got my set of insulated screwdrivers once again i'm not a big fan of electricity i don't like getting shocked so i just picked these up actually the other day i've been using my 11 in one but i've had a few water heaters where the breakers won't shut off and I'm not touching it live, so I got those. I got this rigid tubular cutter. It does half inch and quarter inch tubular pipe, P-traps, and stuff like that, and it's worked out great. It makes a nice straight cut. Um, sometimes a lot of people will use these. You know, you give it a twist, you can get a straight cut on it that way too, but this really gets the job done nice. So I bought that and that'll lead me to my PVC cutters. I got one inch right here and I got an up to a two inch in the truck. I also have a Milwaukee M12 PVC cutter that works pretty nice. That's in the truck. That'll be for another day. I got a pair of uh, tin snips. This one's a little bit shorter. It cuts thicker gauge metal, but I use the heck out of these. The other day I had a uh, kitchen faucet and the sprayer attachment going up to the kitchen sprayer was um it's covered in that thin metal and i couldn't get it disconnected so i just cut the thing with these and it worked out great you got a level you know if i'm setting a toilet setting a dishwasher you want everything to be nice a lot of people just set it and go but if you pay attention to small details That'll be what gets people to call you back. So I got that. This is another little cool tool. It's a rigid angle stop tool. It's not the knockoff one. It's rigid brand. So that's pretty nice. This is coming handy for compression stops and stuff like that. So I use the heck out of that. I got a pair of Milwaukee channel locks in here. There's another set. These are the same size. So I got those in there as well. And then for dressing water heaters, I just picked this up. It's a Wera Joker XXL. 
self-adjusting. This has been real nice. And I got a little pair of adjustables, you know, doing putting a shower head on. You don't want to mar up the shower head. That works out great for that. Um, I got Milwaukee wire cutters and strippers. And then I got a pair of channel or channel locks. I got a pair of needle nose Milwaukee. Also for wiring stuff up. Sometimes if you're doing a cartridge and you break off a piece, nice to reach in that valve and pull it out. Um, I got a pair of Milwaukee PEX cutters in here. I got a paint scraper for wax rings and old silicone, old blade, latex, um, old cock. Get all that scraped off so you have a nice surface to work on. And I got my drain wrench right here for tub drains or basket strainers, whatever. That's just a husky one. I do have the rigid uh, sink tool as well. I like to use that. That's in the uh, truck. It wouldn't fit in this bag. <sighs> I got one of the little mowing tools. We uh, work almost exclusively with mowing faucets. So sometimes you're taking out a mowing faucet and replacing it with a mowing faucet. So it's nice to have the tool just on hand before you open up the box. And then I got a 5 16 Milwaukee nut driver for fern coves. And then I have a half inch one for tanked toilet bowls. Tank to bowl toilet bolts. That's what that's for. Um, inside this pouch, I have a food thermometer. This is actually for measuring the temperature of water. Somebody tells me their water's not hot enough and it's coming out 110 degrees, then you can call them a liar. It's plenty hot enough. You don't want to get caught jacking up the temperature on the water here and then they call you the next day and say you scolded them or their baby. And then I got a jam bar for closet bolts. That comes in handy. I like using the plastic toilet bolts. They don't get stuck like the metal ones, but if you have uh, the metal ones, you have to take them off. This has saved my butt a few times. And that's pretty much it for the bag. I get all that to fit in there. So this is my personal truck. I can do a video on this one day. It's got the topper on it. With a couple of shelves on each side. And I've got a bed slide with a few pack out things. Um, so I also have a work van. Sometimes it's nice to take the pack outs from one truck to another and just slide them right on the plates. But that can be for another day. Otherwise, these are my go-to tools. Um, something I always have in my back pocket. It's my daily carry. I got a little pair of channel locks and another 11 in one. Um, I Sometimes I can do 90% of my calls during the day with just these two tools and it works out nice. I always want them on me. And then of course, I'm always gonna have a Milwaukee knife. I'm just using this mini one right now, this fastback, but I buy a new one almost every month. I have the old school ones. I got the ones with the screwdriver in it, but that's what I'm carrying today. So I'll probably do a, they'll run through the vehicles here next. If you guys want to see a video of that, just like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll get all those videos made up for you. Thanks for watching and uh, see you guys next time.